Okay, so hello there guys, welcome back to RNG Forge. And today we're gonna be it's just gonna be a quick video. We're in the basement and we're gonna be making some sort of it's like a tank. And like these are probably you can't probably find these in England. I don't know about America or anything, but this is from Italy. Um and they're oil cans. You can probably find some stuff that's similar to this. These are like for food oil, like drinking like olive oil. Um and you can probably find something similar, it's just like some sort of tin. You'll find something similar in, in, if you don't have something the same as this. Anyway, it's going to be some sort of... It's either going to be like... You can use it for quench tank. Uh, it's like with oil. Motor oil or whatever oil you use for, for your, your carbon steel quenching. Or uh, water. Now I have two of these. and One for oil and one for water. And they're just fantastic. Because they're 5 litre metal. Put a handle on them. And they, they just work great. And they're just overall amazing. Um, and so it's been emptied. We will... You know, like we go through these, like when it empties, and I just gets another one from the basement and and empties it. And so when it's empty, we're gonna just start by um, cutting the top off. And we're gonna use some cutting can cutters here. Try and get it to work. That's better. Kind of. Actually, yeah, you want to be careful on on the tins. I just cut myself, and as you can see, well, this here is quite cold now, so the oil around the freezes at a much higher temperature than the water does. There we are, to the cups off. So you can see here all the frozen oil, and so you want to give this can like a thorough clean because, as you can see, if especially if it's like a, a, like a motor oil can. And you're going to be using it for water because you don't want it to mix it'll just be really messy and dirty and so we're going to clean it up but for the sake of the video i'm just going to clean it out after i finish putting the handle on and this is easy so what we're going to do is just drill two holes on the sides and then put some uh some like uh, steel wire through and so we'll get on to it that in a minute then yeah that's a pretty nasty cut but yeah tin cans are, uh, are quite you know nasty but yeah Right, let's get on with the drilling. Okay, guys, so we've got the drill, a formal bit, and uh, it doesn't really matter as as the drill bit, unless you're using like really thick cable, which you probably really don't need. But and so now we're just going to drill two holes in the can on the sides. They don't have to be precise; they just have to be two holes. And it is quite slippery with the oil, but. See, we've got a full mill hole there. I'm going to do the same on the other side. We did it roughly at the same, um, the same place on the other side. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Okay, so I don't know what's in shot here, but as you can see, there's a hole there. No, there. Now you might want to file these and clean, but just be careful and it won't really matter. Okay, now let's go get some cable. Okay guys, so I've got the wire and some needle nose pliers. That suck, but needle nose pliers. Um, so as you can see, the wire's just a heavy, as any wire that's heavy duty, I guess you could put rope there, but I don't know. This wire's just better because you know, it's heat proof, it's strong and durable. So you're going to need quite a lot because you're going to have to wrap it round. Because you can remember, you can always cut access off um, later. So we're going to cut a piece of wire like that. Yeah, and then we're going to because the longer I've had, I've the other the water one that I have has got a short handle, and it's just wait, let's check that it's shot. No, we're not. Um, the one that I've got for water is it has got a short handle, and I don't really like it. And the best way to do this. Is you thread the wire in from the inside because from the because then you can have the sort of knot thing on on um, on the outside so then it's easier. So you just do this. And then what you're gonna want to do is just sort of like wrap it around like this. There's nothing really to it, and then just cut off this pointy bit because that is quite nasty if you get caught on that. Cut that off, and then just yeah. So as you can see, it's quite simple, and that's holding good. Now you're going to want to measure this, and you can see it's actually shorter than I wanted this, to be honest. It's not... Let me put the camera up again. It's not 
you know, that's really, okay, that's probably ideal size. Anyway, now we're going to go from, oops, we're going to go from the inside again, like so. And, and do the same thing we did on the other side. Is this wraparound thing, and this is still quite sharp, and, that, and that's quite nasty, so I'm going to be careful here. With our fingers and hands, maybe wearing gloves would have been an idea here. Some nice thick gloves. Anyway. And then we'll cut off this sharp point. Oh yeah, and then here it's done. Now this will, when you put weight on it, oops, coming off. When you put weight on it, it will, it will sort of pull the handle by itself, and so it'll be good. Now this one that I'm using is going to have my quenching oil in because the water one is good, but the quenching oil one it is kind of wrecked, so. It's a bit shorter because I had to bend these corners off because it didn't. We didn't have a proper can opener at the time, and so I did it with some sort of like hacksaw. It's actually quite funny how I did it, but it's just quite nasty. So this is my new quench one, and then the other one's just gonna go in the trash. But yeah, so there's our can, and these are just really good. So for, one for water, one for the quenching oil. And that's good to go then. Okay, so if you enjoyed it, and I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.